So Aaron That's me. has started a new podcast and an Instagram. When he started the Instagram, he was like, I need some tips. How do I grow my Instagram? Oh yeah. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> So I thought I would share some of the tips that I told him, but first, mm -hmm. let's hear just a little bit about what your podcast is. It's a movie review podcast, but it's, uh, I'm no movie professional. I didn't study film or anything like that. I just really like going to see movies. Uh, and so uh, when I leave the theater, I record a podcast. It's really short. Hey, would I watch this again? Yes or no. Would I buy the movie? Yes or no. So with the podcast, he created a whole separate Instagram account. So it's not yep. as personal. So the first thing we did is create a list of hashtags to use for each post. Mm -hmm. Now I didn't just come up with a random list of hashtags. I did a lot of research. A lot. And basically chose hashtags that for the most part, have around 200,000-ish oh. posts in each hashtag feed. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that's what... So you're looking for um, a hashtag related to the subject you're going to be talking about mm -hmm. with sort of already a following for that hashtag. Yeah. Because like you're not going to create... Well, I mean, I created my own hashtag for the, the Instagram, but it's not going to do anything for me yet because of... Nobody's following that hashtag. So <laughs> you want to try to avoid using uh -huh. hashtags that have like 8 million posts because you're not going to show up in that hashtag feed. The point of using hashtags uh -huh. is showing up in front of people who aren't following you, right. you know, getting discovered. Right, right. So you don't want to use a hashtag that has like 15 posts. That would be too few. No one's using that. You're not, mm -hmm. no one's going to find you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But with 15 million posts, you will might show up in front of a few people who ca happen to catch it as they're so scrolling. So the sweet spot is somewhere in between 11 and 15 million. So <laughs> that's you why you can find that middle way. That's why we chose around mm -hmm. 200,000 hashtags. Use them. So the next thing is I told Aaron to tag his location mm -hmm. when he posts. So in each post, I recommended that he tag mm -hmm. the location of the movie theater that he was watching it at because mm -hmm. he does jump around to a few different movie theaters because... Because of times and, you know, whatever I'm feeling like. Occasionally people are like, oh, like what else has been posted at this location? So it's like, it's like Instagram's Yelp feature. Basically. This also applies to Instagram stories. So you mm. can now show up in, so there's hashtag feeds, and then mm -hmm. for some or most hashtags, there's also the Instagram story feed that you can follow. <laughs> So there's that, but then there's also the location Instagram story feed. So mm -hmm. I can go look at Instagram stories that have been, you, you know, they've tagged hashtag movie in it, or I can go look at the Atlanta Instagram story feed hmm. and see stories that have, you know, people have tagged Atlanta in their Instagram story. And that leads into the next thing, which is Instagram stories. A lot of people are really tired of the Instagram algorithm. So a lot of people are engaging in Instagram stories a lot more. How could I use that for the Instagram, my, my, my Instagram, you know, for movies? For you, I think you could, because Instagram stories is really for behind the scenes and getting like a more personal, mm. less polished look at the person behind the account. Gotcha. So for you, it could be like, hey, I'm headed to the movies, I'm gonna go see XYZ. Then really popular using the polls feature. I have done that. And what really helps that I've noticed on my own account is posting on stories throughout the day. Uh -huh. okay. I get a lot more views because if I'm posting every, you know, two to three hours or something like yeah. nothing definitive, but just every few hours, then people, I keep showing back at the front of the story feed uh, at the top. So I keep showing up. Whereas if clever. I just post in the morning and then I don't post for the rest of the day, mm -hmm. 
I'm way back here in the yeah. so someone has to be just watching All lots of, of the stories. Posting mm. throughout the day can be more beneficial. That's gonna be a little harder for you because Or I can just see more movies. I don't know if that's the, the right idea. I don't know. And then the last thing really key on Instagram for uh -huh. growing is engaging with people. Mm. Which is probably something Erin needs to work on a little bit more. What do you mean? <laughs> because you don't really go engage with other people, like other profiles. So when uh -huh. I log in, I log in, I don't log into Instagram every day. When I pull up Instagram. <laughs> what is this, 1995? <laughs> when I, <laughs> When I pull up Instagram, I'm not perfect, but I try and engage with like the first 10 posts in my feed. And I mean genuine engagement, not just like posting a heart or... Even if it's like uh, Cynthia posting a picture of her granddaughter, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Even though you don't have any idea who this Cynthia is. Well, because I, I don't follow instead. random people. I just... Yeah. I don't follow just random people. I follow people that I'm interested in, that are educational, yeah. inspirational, yeah. people I know, people I like, that kind of thing. So, but engaging, leaving genuine comments, interacting with them in stories, that's going to help you build more relationships. Okay. Okay. And I can do that. help, you know, get more followers. And for me, it's helped me get clients. You don't have clients to get. <laughs> No, unless but, someone wants to sponsor my podcast. <laughs> but that can be really beneficial in growing your yeah. Instagram. So. Okay. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next video.